Welcome to the 52 JavaScript projects in 52 weeks challenge. The project of the 10th week will be a BMI calculator. So we will start by creating a div with the ID of container and we will add inside this div a label with the ID V label and inside this label we will we will type in your weight in kilograms all right also we will create a input field by typing an in input setting the type to text and giving it an ID of weight minus input so oh exactly we need to um, also create the label for the weight dot input input field so we can just copy all of this and do the exact same thing for height so type in height also in centimeter and changing the weight input to height input. Also change it for the label. And <clears throat> now we will need a button with the ID button and we will call it calculate. This is the button where we will press on to actually calculate the BMI. And now we will need a label for the output. So we can just write BME output and set the ID to BM, BME, BMI label your BMI and also give it and also type in uh, also more <sighs> behind the label um, set a input field with the type of text and the ID BMI minus output. All right, I think we are finished now, for now first, and we will need to link our style sheet by typing rel for style sheet and the href for the source of your style, style sheet file. All right, now we will need to create the JavaScript file, uh, add the JavaScript file by typing in script src and just type in the name of your JavaScript file. In my case it's main. it's main.js. Save everything and later we will create another div with the ID table where we will add a table with um, all of the BMI um, numbers for your for your for your BMI index for example below 18.5 is underweight and so on but we will add this later first we will create the basic stuff so now we will now we will now we will style all of this by typing in HTML and setting the background color to 333 two three two and also setting the height to 100 percent and now we will style the container we will do this by typing in container opening this bad boy up and typing in height is 300 pixels the width is 550 pixels we will set the background color to hashtag F5E4C3. We will also set the margin to zero and auto and also give it a border of five pixel solid and the number 88B169. We will also set the display to, to grid so we can actually easier position easily position everything 
and the template for the grid will be grid template um, columns 50 pixel for the first column one fraction for the for the second one fraction for the third one fraction for the fourth and also 50 pixel for the last column now set the template template rows of the grid system set to 100 pixels one fraction and another one we can save everything and look at it and it looks like this which is a good start so we have it like this now which looks kind of ridiculous with these big input fields and the button which kind of is out of bounds but i want it to look like this your weight is first after that comes your height and below that is the bmi so this is what we will create now so first we will style the weight input give it a height of 25 pixels a width of 250 pixels um, then we will set the um, now we will position it with the grid column start to 2 and also set the grid column end to 3 um, grid row start the the um, row which this thing will be positioned is also the first one so if we save everything we should have this so the input field is just positioned in the second grid as uh, in the second column i mean sorry so now we will just style everything for every single html thing we have so next we will style the label of our input field and we can just copy all of this because i don't want to type that much and we can actually keep everything save it and it looks kind of retarded now because all of these other things aren't st uh, um, aren't styled right now but this is what we will do next so let's just create the height input styling we can just copy everything which is in here and we need to set the row to to the second row also we can just copy all of this change it w to h and change this also to the second row save everything and now it looks still kind of retarded not gonna lie but the next thing will will be the bmi output so the bmi output is the last output field where your actual bmi score will be displayed so you can actually just copy all of this type it in here and change the row to three save everything and now it looks like this also we need to set the bmi label to be in front of the output so change it to bmi and also change the row to the third one and now it looks like this why does it look like this because of the button and because we didn't style uh, we didn't center everything so we actually need to align self center align self center we will need to do this for every input field like this and now we will style the button and after that everything should look really nice all right you can actually just copy all of this again oh i forgot the hashtag but you will need to change we'll need to change the height to uh, the width to 75 pixels also change the um, grid column start it will be free so it's actually in the center center and change the row to two align self and justify 
self will need to be centered and if we look at it now it looks like this um, we forgot something the white label this is right this is right um, oh, the weight label and the height um, weight label height label grid row start two um, Oh, it's uh, because it's the. Oh, it actually isn't the third one. Um, wait a minute. Oh, of course we didn't. Yes. So now it should work. Um, center. Yes. Now it looks kind of nice, I guess. So you can type in your weight your height calculated and your BMI score will be displayed here. Um, yes, so first I... Yeah, we can actually create the BMI function now. So first we will need to get our button by accessing it with document.getElementById and typing in the ID which you gave your button, in my case it's button or btn and now we will add a event listener to this button so every time you click on this button JavaScript will recognize it and can add a function to it which we will do now so open this um, function up why is this red dot here breakpoint all right um, okay to get we, we actually need to get the values which the user types in here we do this by typing in let wait. So first we will create a variable which the value will, will be saved to. Typing in dot get element by ID just like with the button and typing in your ID of the input field which was wait input I guess. Yes, it was ID wait dash input. And at the end we will add dot value. And what this does is it saves the value which the user types into this input field to this variable and we will do the exact same thing for the height also change it here you can save everything and now just to test it you can console log wait and also console log console log the height we can test this by typing in 5 and 10 for example, calculate and you can see it saved both of these stuff, both of, it saved both of these numbers to the variable which we declared here. So now we will need to create the um, <coughs> math to actually calculate the BMI. Um, for that we will also create a variable we will name it final BMI and the formula is weight divided by height multiplied by height multiplied by 10,000 so we actually get a rounded up number and uh, what's wrong Why is he showing me that this is an error? I think I don't... Oh, I'm... I forgot the... Um, the... What's it called? The bracket? I forgot the bracket. So, to... Actually output the final BMI variable which we calculated the final BMI um, index you will need to 
type in document dot get element by ID again and you will t need to type in the output which you gave your output um, output label uh, output input field which is BMI dash output so type this in there and type in value equals final BMI so whenever you click this button it will it will take the input input um, it will take the value from the input fields calculate them save the result to this to this variable and then the the last step will be to output the variable final BMI to our output field so we can test this by um, Oh, we forgot something. I mean, it works, but I will also add the table. So to do this, we will first create a table, open it up. We will add a caption for it. For example, BMI index. Now we will need a And now we create the headers for the table. So we can just copy it. We will need it four times and we will type in here underweight, healthy, overweight and obese. So, and we will create the same thing again but instead of the table header, we will type in TD and oh, come on. We will also need four of those and we'll type in below 18.5 is underweight. 18.5 to 24.9 is healthy. 25 to 29.9 is overweight and 30 and above is obese and now we are finished save everything open up the index HTML oh right we forgot to actually style all of this um, so go back to style.css and access the um, ID table which we gave our div type in height 100 pixels width 550 pixels um, I will just copy this from above all right now we will style the the table itself the table header and the TD I don't know what what TD stands for to be honest we will set the margin to auto align the text to center and also create a border of one pixel solid and black now you can save everything refresh the page and now we have a little um, table with all of the numbers for the BMI index so for example, I can type in 70 kilo, 175 centimeters, calculate it, it's 22.8, which is healthy. Great, I'm healthy. And this is it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe or comment down below. And if you want to get the source code and build this project yourself or read this tutorial as a blog article, visit my website learn-webdev.com. Link is in the description.